time he, he would be the off the bench. Yeah, it's been solid. It's been solid. He's done some really good things for us. We need him. He thinks he's going to be a good player for us. He's been a good player for us and uh, did some good stuff. In your guards out there defending bigger players, and what are the benefits that you guys see in playing those smaller lineups? You know, we were just trying to find five guys to play hard. So it didn't matter whether it was big, small, or whatever. We were just trying to find five guys to, to execute some of the things that we talked about. So, you know, we got to figure out how to get our best guys to score. We got to figure out who our best guys are that are going to be able to do what we need to do. Uh, X up, right over left, we the best. Welcome to another episode of Respect My Journey. I am your host, Carl Krauser, the Cruzian King, King Krauser, that old black magic, baby. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Peace, positive energy, and positive vibes to everybody in the world. No bullies allowed. We do not respect bullies. We do not respect bullies. I don't care, male or female. I don't care what your profession is. It's not allowed. It isn't cool. It shows a lot about your character, especially as a grown man or woman, and you're trying to look down to a, a younger person, a young adult, a young person trying to pursue uh, their goals, trying to work hard, and they're supposed to be able to look to you for guidance, for belief. They're supposed to be able to trust you. They're supposed to be able to come to you to be educated on certain things. But it seems that some of you coaches forget your place. Some of you coaches forget it's the players that help you, that make you, that get you your bonuses, that get you the extra check and the extra things to help your family. So in proper respect, why don't you give it back to the players and help them become better players, help them become better student athletes, help them become better people during interviews. Like, what are you people doing? You're sitting up there chasing people. You're not paying attention. You're checking out on people. You're quitting in games. A lot of people can see this. You're screaming and cursing at people in practices. It is very uncomfortable to play for coaches like this. You want me to support people that chase kids down? You want me to, like, help people and show love to people who don't show love to me? Who don't show love and proper respect to these young players who are going hard for them three, four hours a day? Who are sacrificing a lot to help their family and themselves? You don't know what they've been through, like I said before in all of my videos. You don't know what each individual is going through. Just like people don't know what you're going through, you want that respect as an adult, as a man. Give that respect back as a human being. You're the elder. How dare you look at these people after playing with your head like some little girl on the side. You want to come and chase down it you. Like you some king gorilla, like crazy person. What is wrong with you? Are you a Neanderthal? Do you have any self-control? But you want to talk about X being out of control. You want to talk about Ithiel being out of control. Those kids were, I mean, those young fellas weren't out of control. You were out of control. You were out of order quitting on those people, not paying attention to the game. You would have seen what happened. And you wouldn't have reacted like that. You shouldn't have reacted like that. Again, you do owe their families an apology. You owe them an apology. You owe them an apology. Look at how you treat Femi. And the rest of the players on the bench, like they can't play. And you're talking about, oh, we're just trying to find five players. And yo, you have more than five players. These kids come in ready to practice, ready to go. They want to play. But you can see that they're, they're, they're scared of you. You can see it. They worried about what you're going to say, how you're going to treat them. That isn't going to get the best out of your players, champ. I don't care who you have. Because they uncertain of themselves because you're uncertain of their talent. You're not showing that proper belief. You're not giving them that. Yo, be honest with yourself. And stop trying to act tough towards kids. That's why I don't mess with Brandon Knight. Well, that's a part of the reason I'm messing with Brandon Knight. I told him stop pump faking like that around those kids. Come on now. What part do you think those kids deserve that? Those are young guys, man. Those are young fellas, man. I'm sure their family members don't treat them like that, and I'm sure they don't like what you did, man. Why you think they got those highlights like that, and it's only two minutes now up on the pit wire and everything else? Usually you see the eight minutes or the longer version. Come on now. 
Get it together, leave it alone, man. Understand and appreciate where you at. This is a winning traditional school. We built this already. We don't need your bricks, champ. You can't build over this fort. King Krause is here. We did it. I stand up for my young pit brothers. Ten toes, two feet with Lord Jesus Christ. I'm complete. I am a piece of God's light, just like my young brothers are. They're trying to help their families. You knock it off already. Stuff. More chocolate, more cream.